Hey Life Tree, Pastor Dan here with you today uh, with your Daily Tree, three minutes of encouragement for you. And today I just want to talk about a, a phenomenon that goes on in our society. Uh, typically whenever anybody uh, hears something or reads something, uh, our first instinct is often to say, hmm, I know who really needs to hear this, right? And we'll, we'll pass it on and we'll share it or we'll say, you know, hey, I read a verse, I really think you need to know this, or, and we pass things on to other people. And that's really great and that's kind sometimes. Sometimes we're just trying to, uh, you know, hope somebody else gets the message and, you know, we, we pass on things subliminally, things like that. Uh, but there's a verse in Ezekiel chapter three where God is talking to the prophet and he says this. He says, son of man, let all my words sink deep into your own heart first. Listen carefully to them for yourself. And I just want to break that down just for a little bit. There's something to, to hearing the Word of God for us first. As, a, as someone who shares messages for a living, uh, I'm telling it's very easy to just sort of pass things on to other people and not let them sink into my own heart. And uh, that's dangerous because essentially what we're doing is we never apply anything to ourselves. We never allow God to speak to our hearts. We're always pointing out other people's deficiencies, their flaws. Oh, I really wish they would read this. I wish they would hear this. I wish they would do that. And uh, what, what happens is we miss the work that God wants to do in us. And before ever God wants to speak through you, He wants to speak to you. And I just want to encourage you with that today, that as you, as you go throughout your day, don't always filter everything by how other people need to hear it or how other people need to change. But just maybe today, just go through the day and say, God, what do I need to know? What do you need to speak to me? Let's listen and let what God says sink deeply into our own hearts first. And once it's been there, once it's taken root, then and only then will we'll be able to share those messages with other people in a way that's loving, free of judgment, free of any sort of manipulation. Only when we allow God to speak to us first can we speak anything of life to anybody else. So I just wanna encourage you, your heart first, my heart first, that's how it works. When you read, as you're, as you're praying, as you're going throughout your day, listen and let the words of God sink deeply into your heart first. And then once it's in there, you'll know when it's time to share those messages with somebody else. So love you, church. God bless you. Can't wait to see you again soon.